So this AA battery is outputting 1.5 volts into the 2100, the NPM 2100 PMIC, which boosts up to three volts to power the, 50, the NRF 54 DK. I have used the NRF series extensively. Yes. And lots of other Nordic products too. The uh, voltage and current measurement tool. The power profile. Power, power profile too. We yeah. got to it eventually. Yeah. So I've, I've used your products extensively, but I've never heard of the NPM series. Sure. What is going on there? So the NPM series is Nordic Semiconductors Power Management. And we have both rechargeable and primary cell PMIX to provide highest efficiency for your, your rechargeable and primary cell systems. So specifically, now by the way, we'll get some good shots for you later. There is a tiny, tiny, tiny little BGA chipper in there in the middle. Yes. And that's your IC there. Yes. What is this thing doing? So this 1.9 by 1.9 millimeter IC um, provides a boost regulator and an LDO output that's powering in this demo, the, 54, the NRF 54. L15. So you, you can actually have two two different voltages coming yes, out of this as well. Two voltages. Right. Beautiful. How, how do you how do you control these voltages? Is it like like a resistor set sort of situation? So, yeah, there's, a, there's a, the resistor that allows you to start, start the voltage at a certain uh, set voltage, and then it, at runtime you can change it over I squared C. So it's all programmable. Oh, damn. Brilliant. Is this the only PMIC on the market? It, it, this is the only, to my knowledge, the only one for primary cells that does fuel gauging. So fuel we provide oh, for this. Okay. We provide 5% increments of the, the state of charge of the battery from zero all the way up to 100%. What is, what is fuel gauging? Like, like dipping in and seeing how much fuel you have? Es essentially, but for a battery, we want to know how much battery life is left. We're trying to avoid situations where you replace the battery early because you think you're afraid it's going to die. Oh, or you have been lost. I, th yeah. I, thought we're, I thought this was like, we're actually putting this into fuel and we're, no. no, we're talking about battery, like battery how, much, how much of your battery is like, yes. oh, okay, that really changes things. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay, how do you do that? So you, you can tell, you know, obviously all these batteries have uh, their own charge curves yep. and, and it, it is often hard to see, right? Because they might look a bit like this and all oh, that's a bit difficult, yep. right? Yep. What, what's so different about this? How are you doing this? So we have a proprietary algorithm that we run in the MCU and we take in voltage and temperature. And we put that in with, we provide the battery profile for you. You don't have to do that yourself. Right. And we out, put it into the algorithm and we spit out a uh, fuel gauge, state of charge. Wait, sorry, can I like upload like a data sheet and? Well, no, no, so we, we, we provide the batteries for, for the primary cell. Oh, brilliant. We, okay, don't, cool. we do the profiling. That's it. But for the rechargeables, you have to do your own profiling. We, and we, pro we give you the hardware to, to enable that. But really? for this, we, we give the profiles. So why would somebody use this over any other PMIC that's available in the market? Is, is that it? It's got accurate battery percentage more. Sure. Current. Yeah, so it's got the fuel gauging. It has also the, the really efficient, high efficiency uh, boost regulator. So it's 89% efficient, even at a 10 microamp load, which is a really low load. Um, and then up through it, high efficiency at higher load, so 93, 94, 95%, uh, depending on, on where you are and, and your, in your load. Um, it's, it's really the integration and the controllability over I squared C. Uh, that's why someone will use it. The other thing is ship mode and hibernate mode. I wanted to ask about that. Yeah. I read about that. So they're, they're, it's really key. So when you do your final test and assembly of your product and you want to put your part on the shelf, um, generally customers, you have a piece of mylar that they put between the battery and the battery contact. Yes. Uh, in order to preserve battery life, but we're enabling you not to, not to have to do that, and you can wake up with just a push button. So you put it on the shelf, and it consumes 35 nanoamps. 35 nanoamps, right? And then that's just going to essentially uh, not provide any voltage to anything circuit downstream. Right. It's completely just controlling it, switching it when you're finally ready. Yep, just a little no bit more of the pull tabs, right? Exactly, no more pull tabs. Just a little bit of the digital logic is being powered, and then when you wake up with a push button, the system's up and running. It's really cool, right? Because yep. you, you have something that's so small so efficient, right? Uh, it's programmable, so you can change voltages on the yeah. fly. I think the coolest part about this as well, and what might, people might not think about, is the fact that you're also reducing a production step. Yes. Right now, now it's not putting in a battery and putting in this small plastic sleeve around it, yeah. and then something having to take it out, right? Yeah. It's, it's, it's sacrificing 35 nanoamps, which is nothing, nothing yeah, to a double it's A. Negligible to a double, yeah. It's almost negligible, right? Yeah. That, that might just float off into thin air at yeah. the time, almost. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is fantastic. Can we see a little bit about this demo? Yeah, sure. So the, the other thing that this will do is, this will has a hibernate mode as well. And so when the system is not operating and not needed, it'll go down to 175 nanoamps. So it consumes a really amount and it'll increase the battery life. Yeah. So the longer sleep durations, we start extending the battery life 25% up to you know two, three X the battery life by having a, a really low hibernate mode. This is brilliant. Where can people find out some more about this? You got the data sheets up already? Yep, data sheets available, parts are available, both the CSP and the QFN package. Um, we, can, we can sample you evaluation kits, you can buy them on all our distributors. It's available now. Brilliant. You can always find out some more on ipexchange.tech as well. Beautiful.
Greg? Nothing but a pleasure. Yes, thank you, Elliot. <laughs>